Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Store Villa theme and in this particular video I'm going to be showing you how you can have your home page as in our demo site. Well, let me show you the demo site of Store Villa. This is how our Store Villa looks on the front page with all the sections and categories and uh, with the blog sections, testimonial and everything. So I'm going to be showing you how you can have these sections on your home page. And I'm going to start with this section. So all these uh, blocks and uh, sections are to be configured from widget area. So we need to log into our WordPress now. After you log into your WordPress account, you need to go to appearance and then click on widgets. Now here you will find some widget area like left sidebar, right sidebar, top right header widget area and the store villa main block widget area, footer widget area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and footer quick information area. Well from here you need to configure the home page uh, main block widget area. This is the space until this above this sorry yeah until this testimonial so let us start by configuring the first section let's go to widget for the first section what which widget that we have used is store villa o category section well before you start configuring your site make sure you have installed all the plugins that we have suggested to you and recommended and only after that you will get all the widgets that we i'm showing you in this video well, the first widget area that we have used in our demo site is WooCommerce section, sorry, Woo category section. Here it is. You can click it and select the widget area and click on add widget here. Then what you have to do is you can upload a background image. As you can see in our demo site, we have a blue background image. So I'm going to be using the same. You can select from media library or upload your own file from here. Then I'm searching for the image that we have used there. Okay, here it is. Now select this image and you can put the category top title. Like for example, anything that will suit to your website type and then you can put a category main title or maybe latest products then you can select the categories how many categories you want to show there I'm gonna show some categories you can show as many categories as you want and click on save now after this close this widget and uh, let us go to our front end to see how will that appear this is the front end of our site and as you can see here we have this section it is pretty much as in our demo site and it has the scrolling effect of your added products so the next section we're gonna configure is this is the demo site and this section so for this section, we have used U product section widget. The first one was U category section. Now we are going to use U product sec section widget. Select the widget area. Now you need to put the top title as what we have done earlier. I'm just writing some random. Then you can put uh, something like this and then you can select the product type. I'm going to select this latest product so to match this I'm going to write new and you can also enter the number of product to show there. I'm going to select 4 and now let's save it. Now let's again go to our front end and check how will this section appear in our front end. 
well the new products that I have added in my site will appear here any new products that you will add in your site will appear over this section so for the next section that is this one we are using promo widget section widget so let's go back and uh, go back to our back end and let's put this widget that is promo widget section here it is select the widget area and now you can write enter promo one title we can have up to three promo sections so for the first one I'm gonna write a title then you can put a small description here and you can upload an image and you can put a button link like for example I'm keeping this my theme detail page link I'm gonna just copy it and uh, put it there now you can write promo one button text for example click here or such and for the promo section 2 let's again add title description let's again upload an image so let me select an image there after it is selected I'm again pasting the same link that I have copied you can put something else now for the third promo section we're gonna fill up this configuration select the image I'm gonna use the same image that I have used in my first one this one and then put the link and a button here and click on save now this widget is configured this is the third widget that we have configured now let's see this in our front end so this is how your front end is gonna look with this widget which is pretty much as in our demo site well the difference is it has many descriptions so it looks a little different but doesn't matter you can change as per you want now it has also the option to upload a background image so let me see where did I miss on that here in the first you can also upload a background image so let us upload one and click on save now let's check in our front end and this is how it's gonna look it's pretty good the layout is so now for the third section sorry no now for the third sorry fourth section this one we have used another widget but in the same widget area that is Ooh, latest category products so let us search for the ooh, latest category products here it is now just put the top title and put the main title then you can select the product type like you want to show latest products or you want to show the featured products or category I'm gonna select a category that a category and show that I'm gonna select men's clothing and then show a number of products I want there in the front end and save it now let's can go back to our front front end and refresh the site and this is how it's gonna look so for the next section we have used o category with product widget so this is the widget we have used and click on add new now you can put a product title sorry a uh, section title product of that product category so this, I'm gonna select women's clothing or um, the mobile phone so I'm gonna just write that category name product category name 
you can select right aligned category image or left aligned so to make you make you more clear let me show you the demo site here if with the left aligned you we will have the product category image over here and all your products in that category will show on your right so if you select this one then your main category image will show on the right and your products will show on the left so i'm going to select left align category image and i'm going to select the category product category also the number and click on save now let me show you how will that appear so this is how it's going to appear that is with the product category image on the left and the category and the products on that category on the right so for the next section that is this one that is blogs and news section maybe so for this we have used block widget section which you will find over here here it is put this in the main block widget area now for this you need to make a category in name of blog and add post in it as you can see I have already made block category that's why it's appearing over here so let me do some simple configuration and take you on how to make that block category so for this you need to put the top title and put the blog main title after this I'm gonna save it now for to select a category here what you need to do is we need to go to post and click on categories then you need to create a new category okay, let me write block one since I have already made block so, and click on add new category after this it will be added over here and you can click here and add your blog post just put the blog title description of your blog subject and you need to select the category that you just created for this post that is block one and you need to set a feature image for this block after this you need to publish this post now this post is published under block one category As you can check here as well it has one post so in this way you can create a block category now let us refresh this widget page so that that category will also show in our configuration we are configuring block widget section now you need to select the category you created for block well since I have already made four posts in blocks category I'm gonna select this one and you can also select the display order that is an assessing order or decessing and I'm gonna save this it's been saved and I'm gonna show this sorry I'm gonna show this in my front end here you'll find your blog in this format well what you can do is you can also select various categories at the same time So your block will show as in this layout it's pretty good and the layout differentiates uh, on the number of blocks that you have blog post so for the next section let us go to our demo site this is the section so I'm gonna show uh, so for this section we're gonna add earlier widget area that is o category with product this one click on add widget now you just need to put the product category I'm gonna show their women's clothing so I'm gonna put that category name you can put any title but I'm just matching and you can select the aligned last time we had selected left so I'm gonna select right for now and select the product category 
and save it. Now let's go to our front end, refresh your front end and check. Now you will have this kind of a view with uh, product category main image on the right and on the left there are products in that product category. So for the last section that we have in our demo site, that is this one, testimonial section, we need to put testimonial widget section widget there, this one, click on add widget. For this, for this also you need to make a category. So let us configure the simple settings and I'm going to show you how you can make that category. Put the testimonial top title. You can also upload a background image. Let us see how, what we have in our demo site. Let me upload a background image. Now let's save it. Now let us go to post to make a testimonial category. Put a category name and click on add new category. After this you need to add testimonials here. Click on add new. Put the person's name maybe or any company name who is giving you testimonial. You can put a testimonial here. I'm going to get my dummy content for this. And you need to select the category you created for this. You can set a feature image. Well, might be of any person or your or their company logo or such. Now then publish this post. Let's again add one more post in this category. Okay, let me put some name and uh, select the category and set a feature image. Image can be anything, but I'm gonna select this one with face. It's pretty much it's very appealing. So now let's publish this post. Now that we have made testimonial category and added two posts under that category, let us go to widget and refresh this page. Now let's configure this testimonial widget section with the category selected here and save it. Now let's go to our front end and refresh our page to see the change. This is the front end of our site and you will find this testimonial in a very beautiful way with a small scroll kind of a thing. So in this way your front end is configured with store villa theme. It's pretty easy, it, it is very customizable and from it can be done from widget, you can add as many widget as you want in your front end and make your site as lovely as possible. So I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring your site. If you want exactly as in our demo site then you can follow this video or you can just get some idea and make your own changes and make your site look different. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like our video tutorials and you can subscribe to our channel and if you have any confusion regarding the content of this particular video then you can write to me down in the comment, comment section and I'll reply to you as soon as possible or you can talk to our support team uh, at uh, support at accesspressthemes.com you can get our contact details at last can contact for support here or you can uh, contact here for general informations or you can talk to our chat support here and we'll try to help you instantly so thank you very much take care